السلام عليكم الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم the new chapter we're starting is باب التقوى التقوى there are a lot of different translations to taqwa there's not an actual one word that you can use to uh, you know translate it exactly but the scholars they you know, they give different explanations of what taqwa is and one of the translations is you are putting up a barrier between yourself and the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's one of them. Sometimes we loosely translate it to the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, one of the more accurate, no, I wouldn't say accurate, the fear is also accurate, but a closer translation I prefer is God consciousness being aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all times. This is a very high level that we all wish and hope to attain, inshaAllah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the muttaqeen, ameen. Right? But this is not something that can just be, you know, we said a dua and we say ameen and then it happens. It's something that requires practice. It requires effort. Uh, it takes time. Uh, and you know, after you know falling and slipping many times, inshallah, we can hope to get to that level. Regardless, uh, while hoping to get there, uh, let's look at the hadith as well by uh, Umama, uh, Abu Umama radiallahu anhu. He narrates that the, he heard the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was giving khutbah in Hajjatul Wida, right? The Hajj that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam performed, the only Hajj that he performed in the 10th year of Hijri. He says that ittaqullah, that, now I'm going to translate it as fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But as I mentioned already, that's why I mentioned the translations or the explanation of taqwa before, that I have the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and then from there we can take the translations that I just mentioned. Right? That's the first thing that he mentioned. Because this is one of the most important things. Once we have this, right, this in every aspect of our life, in every situation in every decision when we have this this will guide us and keep us on the right track right so having the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then he says wasallu khamsakum pray the five prayers wasumu shahrakum and fast in the month of Ramadan wa addu zakata amwalikum give zakah and wa ati'u da amarakum wa da amrikum that to follow and obey the leaders تَدْخُلُوا جَنَّةَ رَبِّكُمْ You will enter Jannah. You're the, the Jannah of your Lord, you will enter this Jannah. He made it very simple. As we understand that Hajjat al-Wida was a time where many, you know, thousands, right, over, over, they say about 124,000 approximately, maybe more, Sahaba were present. This is the time when the Prophet Sallallahu is giving such advice where it is, um, it is a farewell advice. It is a time where he can address as many people as possible for maybe one of the last times. He's not going to be in this world for much longer. So he's, going to, he's giving such words and such advices that are very crucial and they are simple to understand and something that we can all take. And as we can see from this narration, it's a very simple narration, but the promise at the end is very big. He says, You do these things, Perform these actions, your you know, Jannah is for you. All you have to do is have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not easy, but this is a simplified version, right? Have taqwa, pray your salah, sumu shaharakum fast, right? Give, the, give zakah, give charity, and follow your leaders. That's all, it, that's, all, that's all it's being told in this in this hadith. Very beautiful hadith, very short, and you know it summarizes the, most of the deen as well. And the, the reward is great. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to follow this hadith and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all Jannatul for those. Ameen wa akhir da'wan. Alhamdulillah.
سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك اللهم انت السلام انت السلام تبارك الجلال والاكرام ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وانزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وانزقنا اجتنابه اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم إنا نسألك حبك وحب من يحبك وحب عمل يقربنا إلى حبك اللهم بارك لنا في الموت وفيما بعد الموت اللهم حاسبنا حسابا يسيرا اللهم اعز الاسلام والمسلمين واذل للشرك والمشركين اللهم انصر المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم انصر اخواننا في فلسطين اللهم حر المسجد الاقصى اللهم احفظ حرمين الشريفين اللهم انا نسالك من خير ما سالك منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاد منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأنت المستعان وعليك البلاغ ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين